started with Steve, you know. <laughs> this is Billy Ray Bates of BRB TV and another episode of Terrific TV Toys. And I've been focusing on the Bionic toys that Kenner released in the 1970s to run alongside the two TV shows Six Million Dollar Man and Bionic Woman. And since I own four dolls from this Kenner collection of the 70s, I really can't not have Steve. <laughs> the first one that I got of the four was the Jamie Summers doll because I absolutely loved the TV series and so my mom got that one for me too. But then later, I also got Steve Austin because, you know, Jamie had to have somebody to hang out with. It's Steve Austin, the Six Million Dollar Man or the Bionic Man, whatever you choose to call him. This is my Steve Austin doll from when I was a little kid. He's about 13 inches high, and he came out later. He was not the original $6 million man doll. That one looked a lot um, like that. <laughs> he had a red outfit on, um, red workout shirt and pants, and this original version of Steve was released in 1975 by Kenner. Mine came out later. Um, I believe from my research, mine came out in 1978. And you can see he's got the jeans on, he's got cool sneakers with socks, really great socks on, and then the red shirt with blue and white stripes and the little um, sticker here, the little patch. And my research indicates, like I said, 1978, and um, he was labeled the Biosonic Man. Um, so uh, makes the cool sound with his arm, his bionic arm. He's got great articulation. And if you've seen the other videos in this series that focus on the rest of the bionic collection, you'll know that I'm a fan of these dolls because they have held up so well over the years. He is in fabulous condition. His sneakers, everything. Um, I love the socks. Hey, I gotta check out the socks that are on Oscar Goldman in the other video. Um, but yeah, he's in great condition. These Kenner dolls were very well made. Um, you know, and and after all these years sitting in the attic at my parents' house or wherever they've been, now in my own house, um, they're in really good condition. Now, um, some things that I have with him. Uh, I got, let me see, here's the catalog that says the $6 million man with biosonic arm. And you can see it has the, um, like the concrete blocks and the, um, boards that come with it and I've got all of those and I remember how you would set those up like they could fit on top of each other and you could run the boards um, between them like you would sit them up here and do I have any oh no I have six of them there are six of these guys um, and then you know like I said the boards are made to break they fit together and then they break apart and see some of them like these you can see fit together so that's the trick is that you put them together so that Steve can show his awesome power by breaking them apart oopsie you can tell I'm not a kid anymore I'm just no good at this thing um, okay so the biosonic arm I'm trying to remember how that works. See how there's articulation there in the wrist and he was made so that he could give a karate chop. Yeah, there it goes. So you use this arm to control and basically he can go, yeah, and break those boards <laughs> apart. But if you're a kid, you know how to do that a whole lot better than I do. So yeah, those, um, those were his accessories. And then another thing that I got for him separately was this play set. Let me try to find it in the catalog. The Critical Assignment Arms. Um, and it came with a shirt and three different arms um, that you'll see here. Here's this little shirt that has his um, patch on it still, still in pretty good condition except for that little run or whatever it is. And then I've got the three arms. Here's one of them. Now over time, this rubber covering, this like peel up rubber covering that some of these bionic dolls had on them. Jamie has one on her bionic arm. Um, they have disintegrated over time. They're about the only thing that did not really last on these dolls. And so you see this one, the last time I played with it, I just rolled it all the way up and left it that way, um, which is probably a good thing because it would have just gotten harder, broken off or whatever. Um, you can see 
think I can probably take it off, but I'm not going to mess with it too much now. But this one has some gear inside that you can take out. Um, and by the way, I do also have <laughs> the instructions. I can't believe I saved these. Sometimes I did manage to save things like that. Choose the arm and the assignment. There's a neutralizer arm. There's an oxygen supply arm. There's a laser arm. Let me see. Okay, so what I was just looking at is the oxygen supply arm. So inside the arm is this mask. Now, I don't want to disturb it too much. It looks like it's going to be a little tricky to get out of there. I don't know what's going to happen when I take it out, so I'm going to leave it the way that it is. And you can trust me that there's a mask in there, just like the instructions say. So what you would do on Steve um, is you would take his shirt off, and then you would have to remove his arms and put those on. I can get his shirt off. You know, another, another interesting thing, not that I'm like sitting here and dressing my dolls, but look at this. He's got red underwear on. That's different. Jamie does not have anything like that. I don't think Oscar does either, although it's, it would have been a long time since I've checked. Um, but yeah, he's got like red painted on drawers there. I love that. <laughs> but yeah, um, probably not best for me to actually go through and take off his arm because um, I don't want to in any way harm him. He's precious. Um, but yeah, normally you would then remove the arms and replace um, that right arm with this one for the oxygen supply. And then this is the one that has laser in it and you can see there's a place for a battery here. Again, with the skin, the fake skin rolled up. Oh, and then this was the button to operate it, too. Um, yeah, you can see where the battery fits, and it looks like it's a AA battery that goes in there. Yep, one AA battery, not included. And then what they call the neutralizer arm. This one has, I guess, a neutralizer gun. Um, and some kind of gizmo here. Again, a compartment. That might open. Yeah, it does open. And a button here that you can press down on. Yeah, okay, so you bring the arm up like that. Boom! Enemy is gone. <laughs> so a cute little playset that came with, and I guess I shouldn't call it cute because it was really for boys, although this girl was able to get it too. Um, now, Steve Austin had a lot of great accessories um, besides these cool um, accessories with the biosonic arm. Look at the mission vehicle. That was pretty cool. Venus Space Probe. I think you can grab one of these on eBay um, once in a while, but I bet um, it is not inexpensive. Um, and then the Bigfoot doll. Now in this series, I did not have Bigfoot or Maskatron. And someday, maybe, if I care enough, I'll go on eBay and, and try to complete my collection with those. I would have loved Bigfoot when I was a kid because I loved the whole Sasquatch Bigfoot lore. Um, but I guess, you know, my mom just didn't see that one in stores or whatever. Opportunity did not present itself. Porta Communicator. Oscar Goldman and Briefcase, you can see in another video, as I do have that. There were critical assignment legs, too. And some other adventure sets. He's got his little astronaut outfit on. <laughs> I love that. And then there was a movie viewer, give a show projector, see a show viewer. So lots of cool stuff. And then in the other video I had shown this to, um, besides the mission vehicle on the back of this, Oscar had an OSI headquarters, which was very cool. There were tattoos and stickers. And Jamie had a carriage house and a sports car very cool and then in the bionic beauty salon i have you can see that in another video too um now the show the six million dollar man launched in january 1974 so i think kenner did very well with this series of toys um because they knew they had such a hit on their hands with both this show and the bionic woman show so 
very cool to see all of this stuff and I love the fact that I kept this. Um, see, I knew it would be good for something someday besides just playing as a kid. <laughs>